First to appear before the Legal Committee of Parliament this morning was the Uganda Law Reform Commission, a body charged with coming up with reforms on laws governing the country. In their presentation, the Commission seconded the amendment to remove the lower restriction of 35 years. If the person is a registered voter, the minimum age for a person to be a registered voter is 18 years. This means, therefore, that with the proposed amendment to the Constitution, the minimum age requirement for the president is 18. But the same commission was non-committal on the upper age limit, which the bill seeks to increase from the current cap of 75 years. The Uganda Law Reform Commission called on Parliament to borrow a lift from other regional states on the contentious limitation on the upper age limit. Parliament may wish to choose which position to harmonize with. Harmonization with a practice in the East African region could be one such op option. This would apply to both the issue of minimum and maximum age. However, lawmakers on the committee accused the Reform Commission of abdicating its responsibility of tabling bills which require an overhaul. We should be advising this institution professionally on the substance, the need to amend which laws, which laws have become stale, irrelevant, or some which are unconstitutional, and sometimes they are supposed even to harmonize them. I expected that the Commission would come very clean and clearly on the matter of age, but they just mentioned it in passing. From their research that they undertook before coming here, what was the mischief for putting in place age limits? as plain as that. Later in the day, the committee hosted the Electoral Commission team led by Simon Biawakama. He revealed that it is not within the mandate to give its views on the contentious constitutional amendment bill. On that Article 102, which members have properly observed, we have not taken any position. We are waiting for this, for Parliament, in consultation with the people of Uganda to tell us whom the category of candidates for whom we shall be required to organize elections come 2021. The electoral body is, however, in support of other amendments within the constitutional bill, including Article 104, Section 3, which is seeking to extend the determination of the presidential election petition from 30 to 45 days. Article 612 of the Constitution. The Commission agrees with the justification to the effect of causing an earlier or having an earlier election. The other justification which the Commission agrees with is that the 120 days instead of 90 would be in a tandem with the proposed amendments <laughs> to Articles 104, 2, 3, and 6 of the Constitution. The Supreme Court actually mentioned two years, within two years. In other words, these uh, amendments or reform were supposed to be done within the next two years. And by now, almost it is almost half, one and a half years. The Legal Affairs Committee will tomorrow interface with different political parties as it enters its third day of hearing.